Welcome to my uh, second video that I've done on uh, YouTube. Um, I've decided to make a little vice stop and do a little video whilst I do it. Um, I needed to make some parts and I felt I need a stop so I can set it when I do all the other pieces. Um, and I have the M8 holes on the side of the um, the vice. So look at this. I've got this little part going to take 17 minutes to make. Probably would take a lot less time on a more confident user uh, using a machine. This is a homemade machine that I've done myself um, and uh, programmed it on Fusion 360. I've been learning it more and more and having some fun. I've done some 3D work um, and I'm, I'm getting there with it. So this is just showing it. I've got a basically 2D adaptive to clear everything out, um, contour, a bore um, and then some countersinking. You'll see that I've done um, it was simulation in a second um, just to show you it removing all the material um, quite enjoy Fusion 360 once you learn what you need to be doing what you should be selecting it's fine I've learnt pretty much everything that I've learnt is from um, either just doing it and using it or watching a NYC CNC with John Saunders he's been brilliant um, with kind of educating I think for thousands of people um, well, probably, I don't know how many people he's educated. He probably doesn't quite realise the effect that he's done. Um, but no, um, so been learning all this. And so we've got a 4mm um, two flute um, carbide cutter by Rani Tool. I think they're about £3.40 a pop, maybe £4 off eBay. Um, they do a great job. Um, I've got some YG cutters, which, yeah, you get a nice mirror finish. But this is just a little vice stop that's going to get kind of bashed around so it's going to start doing the work I already started doing the uh, the work but the uh, I got a old phone call whilst I was recording with my phone camera because that's all I'm using and um, and so <laughs> it stopped part way so I thought I'll start again from here and it only just started and um, actually this recording I run out of memory on my phone I have to delete some video and so I do miss a little bit of video as you see um, so now it's cutting, it's making some nice chips. Well, I think they're nice chips, you know. They're not angry at me or anything, so uh, they seem pretty happy to be flying away from the from the piece of metal I got there. The depth of cut is 5mm, um, but the cut is 20% of the cutter, so a 4mm. Um, quick mill be easy. Um, I don't know, like 0.8? 0.8 of a mil. Um, so not too stressful. I could have gone full depth, which is 9.38, um, but I didn't. I just baby it round. Um, there's no need to rush these things when you're just having fun. That cutter can be used a lot more if I don't push it and I don't snap it. Um, so it just keeps it fun, keeps it simple. So it's working its way around at the moment um, on the peripheral, working its way until it makes the shape. Anyone that knows Fusion has done this before. Um, you see how simple it is. I'm going far too slow, probably. Um, I could probably go twice as fast, three times as fast, or whatever, but there's no need to push it. So, I'll leave it with you for a minute.
probably wondering what I'm using to hold this down. For the guys that already do this all the time, never know it's um, the John Saunders NYC CNC um, technique. Um, I remember when I first saw it, I thought, nah, it's not going to work. Um, but they did some brilliant videos, you should check it out. Um, go on NYC CNC um, and type in, I don't know, I guess, I can't remember what to type in. You'll find it, you'll find it when you look. Um, the, the interesting thing is, is you clean both surfaces. Um, so the surface you stick it onto, um, make sure it's clean, put the, um, the powder coated tape on or the masking tape, whichever one you use. And you also stick a piece to your work that you're working on. Um, then using super glue, you stick them together um, and you have your piece in the right position. Um, let that dry. Obviously, the activator always helps make sure it's cured, and otherwise, you're going to have a bit of a nightmare with the part coming off. Um, so, you'll see that it's holding on to it really nicely at the moment. Um, you see that I'm very slowly working its way in, making a hole. Um, I was a bit too kind on the in the plunge setting. I needed to go much faster. Um, once it goes in, um, I can then be a lot more aggressive and um, adaptive adaptive cuts uh, that material out for the slot, and it will work its way over, um, and it will um, do that again. Obviously, on the next. On the final level um, and make a nice nice cut. In the bore, yeah, <laughs> I went a bit too fast on this one. I got worried for a second, thinking uh, <laughs> it was going to be destroyed. Um, but no, it was all fine, and maybe I should do more cuts like that. It was kind of fun uh, like when I watched it back. Um, so now I'm just doing the contour cleanup. There was I think, point 0.2 left around the work after doing all the adaptive cutting. So this just allows me to use the whole edge of the cutter um, to clean up that edge. The finish came out alright, I wasn't super impressed with it, but with a £4 carbide cutter, arguably you get carbide, I don't know, um, for £4 um, you're asking for a lot, um, but it, it cuts pretty well, um, the RPM it does it at, I'm cutting at 10,000 RPM, I can go up to more, it's one of the high speed spindles, again from China, 
I'm doing a little um, upgrade for the mill so I can gear down I think the um, end so I have slow RPM spindle and use the high RPM of the because it doesn't have any torque I thought I could transfer it to the, the spindle but I'm waffling on um, the, I'll show you that another day but anyway it's done the, the contouring um, happy with that and then I change over to the um, countersink um, cutter um, which is a CNC spot drill they're very versatile just coming off the tip I'm like a mill off the tip on offset um, so they get a bit more uh, surface speed um, uh, otherwise it, you know, it's a bit stressful on the cutter so it's working its way around there um, came out pretty nice actually uh, I was happy with it um, I haven't used the countersink function on not countersink sorry uh, the chamfer function on um, Fusion before um, which I use the control to select the cutter and it kind of figures it out for you so quickly gives on this is uh, the outside was a, a large cut I think 0.5 chamfer or 1mm can't remember I uh, did it before and then there's like a 0 0.2 0 0.3 chamfer on the other edges and then I'm doing the back side now um, I flipped it over, put it in the vise. The vise, which you can see the the back hole there, that I'm going to be mounting this to. Um, I did a times two on the speed of this one, just you no know, point watching it slowly. Um, so that fits on there, and it's going to clean up the, the inner edges. Um, and that'd be nice, all nice and deburred as well. I don't have to do any work on that one. And then do this hole there. So that's done. As you look at it, you can see the edges. They're good enough for what we need to be doing. Um, I need something that's practical. Um, now I'm just going to put the hole in the end, the M5 thread. So our CNC spot drill, same cutter that I used before. Um, that's just gone and pecked in just so I can get the drill in nicely. And then we we'll flip, flip over to the 4.2mm drill, pecking down at um, 100mm per minute, um, 0.5 pecks as it goes. Um, pretty happy with how that came out. Got a bit of bird's nesting, bit of flings off, thankfully. Um, so I'm happy. I always start panicking when that starts happening because you have to get jammed in ruin your hole. And that will just break through to the centre of that hole. Just there. Um, after that I'll uh, get my drill out and put my M5 in. You could hand tap it but I'm not fast. You can line it up pretty good and uh, run the, the, the helical uh, tap in. Um, and just do the work there got a bit jammed up towards the end clear it out reverse go back in and then job done that's going to hold the um, five millimeter rod that's going to go in there so i'm pretty happy um i give it a blow up with the air compressor the air compressor the air line and with the air gun um and then you'll be able to see that uh, the threads came out all well, pretty nice as it would do it's pretty simple with this stuff um i'd recommend anyone that's beginning use the uh the hand tap don't start going in with a drill like me um, so this is going to get used here um, it's going to mount there M8 um, screw and a spacer and it's good thanks for watching